This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software logging on with the next sessions video in this series, Organization and Management in the Connect Dialog. In a previous segment, you learned about editing the default session. To edit the properties of an existing session, select it within the Connect Dialog and press the Properties button on the toolbar, or right-click on the session and choose Properties. When the Session Options dialog appears, modify the options you wish to change and then press the OK button. Some session properties may be modified while you are connected with the session simply by choosing Session Options from the main Options menu or by pressing the Session Options button on the main toolbar. A new session can be created with default settings by pressing the New Session button or by right-clicking within the Connect dialog and choosing New Session. Another way of creating a new session is to make a copy of an existing session. Duplicating a session is done through Copy and Paste. To copy an existing session, select it within the Connect dialog and then right-click and choose Copy, or press the Copy button, or use the Ctrl-C keyboard shortcut. To paste a copied session within the Connect dialog, right-click and choose Paste, or press the Paste button, or use the Ctrl-V keyboard shortcut. The concept of duplicating a session to save setup time can be used as a way of having session templates. Consider creating yourself a templates folder in which you would keep a collection of session configurations that reflect common settings and preferences that match specific needs. If you need to create three new router sessions with only slight differences, copy the existing template session and paste it three times consecutively. Then, edit each new session to modify those settings that need to be different. In this example, I'm changing the session name and host name to reflect the actual names of the machines to which these three new sessions will connect. Depending on the number of sessions you have to manage, you may find it beneficial to organize them into subfolders named by location, device type, or some other commonality that makes sense for your work. To create a folder, right-click and choose New Folder, or press the New Folder button, or use the Alt-F keyboard shortcut. You can rename a folder or a session by right-clicking and choosing Rename or by using the Alt-M or F2 keyboard shortcut. To move a session from one location to another, use drag and drop with your mouse or cut the session from one folder and paste it into another. You can also move an entire folder using either drag and drop or cut and paste. By default, all folders and sessions are sorted alphabetically in the Connect dialog. Right-click anywhere in the Connect dialog and choose the Arrange Tree submenu to switch from alphabetical to logical or manual sorting. Alphabetical sorting arranges sessions in alphanumeric order. This means that 192.168.1.100 will appear before 192.168.1.2 since a 1 has an ASCII value less than a 2. This is the default setting in Secure CRT. Logical sorting arranges sessions in an order which allows for session names consisting of primarily IP addresses to be listed in increasing numerical order. For example, 192.168.1.1 would be followed by 192.168.1.2, 192.168.1.100, and so on. Manual arrangement allows you to arrange the tree according to your own personal preference. Regardless of the arrangement method you choose, the Connect dialog always displays a folder's contents with subfolders at the top, followed by sessions in the lower section. The next video in this series provides tips for locating sessions, making changes to multiple sessions in bulk, quickly connecting to multiple sessions, and other time-saving functionality related to the Connect dialog.